Hey friends, Drex here from Drex Factor Poi, sharing with you the love of poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today, we're doing another one of those advanced combos, this one featuring some of those exotic new 1.5s that I've been uncovering in my own work. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow DNA, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyroterra Light Toys, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. And a special thanks to the first non-business friend of the channel, Johnny Howard. Thanks so much for your support, Johnny. Cool. So, as many of you may recall from the last combo tutorial I uploaded, I got several requests a few weeks ago to do some more advanced combos, so here we are. This week I'm going to actually apply some of the knowledge that came out of the advanced 1.5's work that I've been doing over the course of the past year. Namely, all of these in-spin and anti-spin 1.5's that we previously did not know were related to each other. And you're going to make use of several of them today, including seeing how they interlink with some other things that you might not know are caps. So, the tricks that you're going to need to know for this week's combo are horizontal stacking, and more specifically, the Mel stack. You're also going to need to know two different 1.5 combos, both of which are in-spin versus anti-spin. The first of which is the vertical pedal in-spin versus the box mode anti-spin. The second is going to be the horizontal pedal in-spin versus the diamond mode anti-spin. You're also going to need to know how to do Tri-Catcher versus Pendulum. And how to do Windmill or Potruvian Man. I'll go ahead and leave links to tutorials on how to do all these tricks down in the description or up in the cards if you happen to be watching this video on YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and perform the combo at full speed, break it down for you step by step, and then show it to you again in slow motion. So clearly there are several moving pieces here, but it's going to start off with something that we've already seen before. Namely, this is the horizontal stack that started the whole horizontal stacking revolution, the MEL. Now I'm performing it with my poi out at full length, which is unusual because it's really hard to get it to be clean when the poi are out at full length. I'm doing my best here because they need to be out at full length for everything else in the combo. But essentially you're just going to go out to your right and then back over to your left. And I'm starting this on my left hand side because that's the easiest side I have to transition back and forth between all these different hybrids we're playing with today. So after you have gone to your left, over to your right, and then back to your left, you're going to wind up in this position where you have your two hands together over at your left hand side, and we want to be in this position where we have the right hand poi going inward towards us and the left hand poi going out away from us, like so. So from here, we're going to go ahead and drop into that box mode anti-spin versus that vertical pedal in-spin 1.5. We do that when that right hand poi is pointed in, and you kind of want to think of this, it's almost like you're doing a, uh, a reverse thread the needle, but you're only doing a single beat of it, right? You do a reverse thread the needle across the bottom and you should wind up over on your right hand side with the right hand poi pointed in towards you and the left hand poi pointed out away from you. From here, you basically just take both of your hands up and over top. You do a point isolation with your right hand poi and you do a pendulum with your left hand poi. Like so. It's basically almost like looking at them like folding like an accordion. From here we make the switch into the horizontal pedal in-spin versus the diamond anti-spin. And literally what that is is we drop both of the poi straight down and come over on our right hand side. You wind up doing a point isolation with the right hand poi and just a simple pendulum with the left hand poi. Boom, like so. Once you get over here to your right hand side, you're going to bring both of them up and over. You kind of do a little loop around with your right hand and your left hand gets to do an anti-spin pedal across the top. The whole thing looks like this down and round, up and over, like so. And then for our next step, we're going to go ahead and drop into Triketra versus Pendulum, which, if you have been paying attention thus far, you're probably going to notice that that Triketra, ugh, Triketra, excuse me, uh, feels suspiciously a lot like one of those other caps that we've just been playing with, and that's because it is. It's just a cap of a different type. 
So we only take this around once actually, and then that switches us into a windmill. And as our hands come around us, we go ahead and take a turn around and stall the two poi over to our right hand side. So let's look at all that from the beginning. So I go ahead and do the mel, going to my left and then to my right. When I come back to the left, I do that first 1.5. The second 1.5, I take it into Triketra versus Pendulum, windmill, take it around, and go ahead and stall over to my right hand side. Now bear in mind, you can do any one of those caps as many times as you want or need to. I'm only doing one rep of each one, basically because just to show off, all right? But hey, uh, let's go ahead and check that out again in slow motion. You see, all those new 1.5s do have a use after all. Please go ahead and give this one a try and shoot some video of yourself playing around with it. Post it to social media and make sure to tag me. I am at DrexFactor, both on uh, Instagram as well as Facebook. I would love to see your hard work and what you come up with as you play around with this one. Please make sure to leave me a like, share, subscribe, and comment on this video, both to help other people find it as well as to help my channel grow. Do you like poi videos? Do you like vlogs, tutorials, and combos like this one? Would you like to help me out in my mission to bring poi spinning to the wider world and help people connect with their brains and their bodies through poi? Awesome! Then do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash directsfactorpoi and signing up. There you can get early access to all of my content as well as a say in what topics I tackle in the future, plus some great extras and behind the scenes stuff as well. So go check that out. Please and thank you. And speaking of thank yous, I just want to put a huge one out there because this video would not be possible without the kind support of these wonderful people right here. These are my Flow patrons over on Patreon and they, along with the people listed down in the description, have helped make this video and all the videos on this channel possible. Thank you all so much for your support. It means the world to me. What are some tricks that you would like to see me use in a comment? Please leave me a comment and let me know. Did this scratch the itch for you in terms of advanced poi trickery? I know it did for me. I won't tell you how many takes it took to get that final version that I uh, use as the demo. But here we are. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave links to a playlist full of other combo tutorial videos that I've done down in the description as well as up on screen if you happen to be watching on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to get outside to flow this weekend and I will see you with a new video on Monday. Peace.